Alright, what's good everybody? It's your boy Flux with that sound. Uh, this is going to be my first video on Type Soul, and it'll be about Soul Reaper Keto. Uh, I wanted to make a video on this because Soul Reaper Keto is what I personally use in game, and I have a bit of experience with it. Another reason as to why I'm making a video on it is to put some goddamn respect on a lot of the moves in the skill tree, and just uh, give a general guide to anyone who might be considering going for Keto as their main. Now, some disclaimers and things to note about SR Keto in general. First of all, no, you do not need skill boxes to make SR Keto work, like Nano Prodigy says, for example. Just watch the video, I'll explain. Secondly, when using a Keto move, all other moves in your hotbar will go on a slight cooldown, meaning you can't just run and spam your skills like a headless chicken like it's Blocks Fruit. Third of all, casting most spells takes longer on average compared to other moves and other skill trees. This is due to the words that appear over your character having to finish before actually casting the move. This means you kind of have to think what you want to use before you use it. This is also why Keto suffers a bit at closer ranges versus other skill trees, though you can be a menace at closer ranges as well. And lastly, if you're going to make a Keto build, Please, go 50 Keto, minimum. This is due to a thing called Advanced Keto that you get when using 50 skill points. What this does is makes moves like Gaki Reko actually viable and useful. 50 Keto will also unlock the best moves in the entire skill tree, so please, 50 Keto, minimum. Now with the disclaimers out of the way, we can begin talking about the moves themselves. Byakurai will be your very first move in the skill tree and something you'll be keeping till the very end of your progression. It's a thin little pew pew lightning bolt that has nice range. This move is basically just a free chip damage poking tool to throw out whenever you want. You'll mainly be using this to cancel enemy attacks that are aimed at you. Aeroncar is charging a serum? Use Byakurai. They try to balagum you instead? Well, use Byakurai again. Blooming cut from a speed user? Once again, use Byakurai. This thing is so damn reliable as instead of blocking all of these moves, you can cancel them outright. But since it's so thin, it may be hard to actually land the move. And sometimes you can also get away with using it at close range. Sukaimon, or Shikaiku, whatever the fuck it's called. Shakao is a small exploding red ball that can be mouse aimed to hit anywhere you want. It's blockable, and serves a similar purpose to Byakurai as just a nice cheap option to throw out whenever you want. It has slight AoE, but its travel time is pretty slow, but this can be made up for by aiming it at the ground at closer ranges to ragdoll your enemy, which then can be followed up with a crit or a Byakurai. Honestly, a fairly underrated move. Nerf this! Tenron allows you to use the power of Hurricane Katrina versus your enemies. It's a small little tornado that pushes enemies away, but this move is basically useless as it deals a damage equivalent of a wet fart. Only use this if you want to push people off into the void or something like that. Our first Bakudo ceiling move. Geki allows you to stun enemies who are flash stepping away from you, if you can catch them with your mouse, that is. It's a good stun, but is blockable, situational, and has a high startup time, so overall, not a really good move, but you can surely find some good uses for it. Shut the fuck up! Know your fucking place, trash! Alright, next move is Zangiden. Now this is a must-have move in any SR Keto player's arsenal. Zangiden is a ranged projectile guard break that does good damage and comes out fairly quickly. This is basically a Byakurai with travel time, but way better. This move can also be used sometimes in closer ranges to catch the enemy off guard and maybe even get a cheeky guard break. So uh, yeah, just please use this move, it's fucking sexy. Next move is Raikoho, at least I think that's how you say it. It's a yellow beam, similar to that of a Sero, but with less range. This move comes out a bit later than a Byakurai, but does much more damage. 
This extra damage means the block and the move will deal a fair bit to your posture bar, so beware. Overall, it's fine. I can't shit on it too much. Like, it's a fairly nice addition to add, especially if you don't have skill boxes and 90% of people will not. So, yeah, it's, it's fine. The next move is Gaki Deko. This is a goddamn machine gun, I'ma be honest. It's really reliable at pressuring your enemies and also draining the hero of those pesky Iran cars. It deals actually nice damage, but it's easily blockable. The move's actually really useful, unlike what Nano Prodigy says, for example. It should be uh, the third must-have, in my opinion, right next to Byakurai and Zangiden. Ooh, now this right here is a good move. High-end is what I personally call a blender. When using the move, you do a slight jump before releasing a firestorm of slight AoE and amazing damage. It'll shred all of your enemies if it connects. This move is fairly easy to connect thanks to the various stun moves in the Keto Tree or the Shikai moves that you might have access to. You can also use it by itself as a mix-up when entering close range as the jump that you do will let you escape harm's way and blast your fucking enemy and melt their face off. Overall, it's an amazing move and a must-have in every single SR Keto user's arsenal. Please use it! You're out of chakra. It's over. You know, Sasuke, I may be out of chakra, but I'm not out of options. Oh boy, what is that, like three must-haves in a row? Alright, this next move has two variations. Suzuri Raiden. It can be activated using your mouse 1 and mouse 2 buttons respectively. The mouse 1 variation will coat your weapon in lightning, increasing your attack speed and damage drastically. You know how Keto mains are fairly weak when it comes to close range combat? Yeah, well not anymore, because Suzuri Raiden will allow you to become a fucking M1 demon. I cannot stress this enough. But always have this move active, as you never know when you might have to go fucking full M1, 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 M1 for, for Shogun on your enemies, okay? But now you see, when it comes to the M2 variant of this move, it's kind of hard to justify over the first one, I'm gonna be honest. But it also has its nice little niche uses that are actually really good. See, this version will tether your enemy in place, similarly to Mortal Ties, except it doesn't Mortal Tie the user of it. So you can just sit back, spam all of your ranged moves at the enemy and they can't do jack shit about it. It's fairly nice. Get this shit off me! Ah! Ah! Get this beta shit off me! Next move is Riku Jokora. Probably one of the most iconic Keto and Bleach, I'ma be honest. This move is similar to the previously mentioned Geki, stunning your enemy for a good amount of time, except this move bypasses the enemy's block. As long as you can follow them with your mouse, then you'll have a free stun. Skill is best paired with high end to guarantee some insane damage. Hey yo, the pizza here! Oh, nigga! Ah! Oh, my ears burn! And the next move is Fushibi. It's a very large spiderweb-like net that drags enemies to its center and explodes, making the enemy unable to flash step anymore. This move will put speed users in a goddamn wheelchair and allow you to have a nice break, or to harass them instead. Though this move has a fairly long startup time, so use it with caution. Alright, but listen, on a serious note, don't use this move unless you have a healer with you, as you legit deal more damage to yourself than the enemy. And if you do have a healer, just use a Keto stun or a Shikai skill to stun the enemy. Then just nuke them. Overall, it's a very funny move, but I don't recommend using it for anything other than trolling. By the way, to operate the move, you simply hold down the key. A lot of people don't know that. Alright, 
next move on the chopping block, we got Senjuko Tantaiho, also known as the Heavenly Cannon, or if you play ABA, the Pink Cannon. This is the highest damaging move in your kit. You can release your inner Oppenheimer and nuke your enemies with this skill, as it has amazing, unblockable AoE, damage, and range with seeming its only drawback being the startup time. You know, a lot of people like to pair this move with Danku to circumvent the startup time, but I personally discourage you from doing that as 1.40 seconds of windup is not that huge as some people will think. You can legit get away with using this move raw at mid-range, sometimes even close range. Overall, this is another must-have in your arsenal. Alright, next move is the second to last move in the regular skill tree, Sokatsui. This is your second highest damaging move in your entire skill tree and my god is it free. This move is more akin to that of a Sero Oscuros with its insane range and amazing AoE. You can also literally just use this move whenever it's off cooldown. There isn't much counterplay to it, as if the enemy blocks it, their posture bar will fill up instantly, allowing whatever move you plan on using next to always guard break. This is yet another must have. Just use it when it's off cooldown, it's literally free. Ooh, and finally, Danku. This is the last move of the regular Keto skill tree, and one of the best, if not the best moves in the game. No exaggeration, Danku is a simple 3 second long iframe that can be used in the middle of combos as an evasive, allowing you to combo your enemy instead for free. It is literally a get out of jail free card that is insanely valuable to an SR Keto player, as you will be constantly harassed by every single speed or Hakuta user. This move gives some much needed breathing room to you and is the reason I don't recommend using it when using the heavenly cannon as it's simply too valuable to throw away like that. You could use it with Fushibi instead allowing you to use all of your giant fuck you AoE skills without being punished or to combo them outright. Please use this skill but don't use it alongside the heavenly cannon that's a fucking waste. I understand it's the highest damage you move in your fucking keto tree but you can just pull out the most amazing fucking combo for free because of this goddamn move. Alright, now that the regular moves are out of the way, we're going to be moving on to the skill box moves. They aren't necessary to make the Soul Reaper Keto playstyle good, but are pretty damn helpful. <laughs> The very first skill box move will be, oh boy, Hiryu Gekizoku Shinten Raiho, the motherfucking lightning bolt of motherfucking lightning bolts, okay? Not only is the name satisfying to say, but it looks fucking badass in the anime too. Unfortunately, this isn't the case in Type Soul though, as this move has been practically nerfed to shit. The gimmick of the move is that the center of the beam deals more damage and stun than the edges of it while having Byakurai levels of range, encouraging you to actually use your brain. Uh, during CC, this skill was actually good, but was later nerfed nerfed and became a high wind-up, mediocre damage Raikoho instead. While still better than Raikoho, and an alright move in general, it's sadly a waste of a skill box. <laughs> The second skill box move is Kuyoshibari. This is a fucking S tier skill box move, okay? After casting Kuyoshibari, a small orb will be sent out that will auto track to your enemy and stun them for a whopping 6 seconds, being easily the best stun in the entire fucking game, okay? It is a better version of Rikujokoro, as you don't need to aim at your enemy, though, you know, because of that, the skill is blockable, but you can use this to your advantage by simply forcing a 50 50 and using a guard break like Zangiren as they try to block the move. The skill box has perfect synergy with Haiyan and Heavenly Cannon. The skill also does not put your other Keto moves on cooldown, meaning you can combo with it. But Kuyoshibari does have one negative. If an enemy is using a hyper armor move, then Kuyoshibari will not actually keep them in place. So just beware of that. 
think that's all I got, little bitch? I'm a son of a speed lord. Oh, yeah! <laughs> And finally, the last skill box move and the last keto move in general that we will talk about today, Goryu Tenmetsu is a very useful tool against runners and people who like to spam all of their skills. After casting this spell, you will shoot out three mouse aimable dragons that if they connect, will disable all of the skills of the enemy, including flash step. Your enemy will basically become a vegetable and will be at your mercy. The dragons individually deal about a Byakurai's level of damage, but since there's three of them, it's more akin to a Sokatsui in terms of damage, but yeah, overall, great move to have. And that's it! That's every single Keto move discussed and talked about. Oh yeah, but wait, there's one more, and people are inevitably going to be asking me about this one, so fine, I'll talk about it. This is the final move, Kuroitsugi. <laughs> This is the most iconic Keto move in Bleach, hands down. And no, you can't get it. This is a spec. I don't know how to use it. I don't know what to do with it. There is footage of it, but I don't have it. So I can't, you know, tell you how to use it or anything. So yeah, it's a spec. You can't get it. Fuck you. Only like a couple of people, like CC players have it. Yeah, all right, that's it. I'm done. Alright, now in terms of Shikai, this is obviously just my opinion. Uh, you can see the list right now, what I've ranked. I'm just gonna give my reasonings as to why I've ranked them like that. So, number one is Wind, specifically due to every single move basically being a stun, which confirms all of your Keto moves. So, the Z move into high end, uh, then using C into Sokotsui or Heavenly Cannon, freeze shit my life. Then, you have Ice. Ice is also kind of the same case as Wind, where it has a bunch of stuns, and you're able to run your ones much better. You can M1 M1 Bushoguma people like a fucking god with ice. It's really good. Uh, not to mention the Bankai is fucking mwah. Chef's kiss. A uh, lightning, same case as wind. Really good stuns. Do the dash move into high end. And if you have long sword, you can pull them into the high end so they take all that damage. Really good. Then you have uh, confusion. You do the swirly thing. Uh, M1 them and then do the other move. Uh, that's a really good stun. You can high end into that. And Shadow is just there because it has a single move that combos into high end as well. You can just, you know, do the down slam tendril move. They get down slammed. You do the high end and there you go. That's really good. Water is purely there just for the fucking Bankai because it's that good. Now, in terms of which Bankais are the best for Soul Reaper Keto, the list changes drastically. Wind immediately drops down to number four because while the tornado move is really good, it's not as good as what other Bankais acquire. Doesn't mean that it's bad, per se. It's still amazing, it has amazing synergies with high end and all the other moves, insane amount of stun, but stuff like ice, water, and confusion are still much better. So the number one Bankai, in my opinion, I think ice is the best Bankai for Soul Reaper Keto, specifically due to how brain dead it fucking is. You click two buttons and that's it. They combo you, out of nowhere, an ice age comes and they get frozen and you get a free combo instead. They get punished for even trying to hit you. And not to mention that the whole like pew 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 pew, that type of fucking move, it's an auto execute, which is fucking insane. Water basically has a better like has this vortex move that pulls them into the center and it's essentially a better tornado move that wind has that move is so fucking good that it gets bumped up way higher than even wind just because of that confusion is also really good because it's just you are going to have a fucking seizure fighting a goddamn confusion user and while you're having that seizure that confusion user is going to be spamming a bunch of fucking keto go to your tenmetsu heavenly cannon high and all of that shit you're getting ass raped okay now lightning, lightning is uh, there specifically because like it has amazing little stuns and everything. The Shikai moves are still really fucking useful, but I don't think it synergizes as like as well as like something like wind or ice, for example. It's still really good. It's the best Bankai in the entire game, in my honest opinion, because it's just you know it's basically brain dead. It's fucking brain dead. And number six, instead of shadow, I've put blood there specifically due to the M1 moves. Basically, it's the mode where you your M1s become really huge. Uh, I 
think that might actually work with Suzuri Raiden, where basically you can boost your M1 speed and everything and the damage, and that shit would be fucking insane. Not to mention, it's just a good Bankai in and of itself. A 7th place is not mentioned, but that would be Shadow, specifically just for that one move, so yeah. I'll just quickly go over this, but in terms of weapons, in terms of Shikai weapons, which one of those are best? It's probably Longsword, Dagger, Dual Blade, and Scythe. Uh, I'll explain these real quickly. Longsword specifically, if it's crit, it can pull people. So what you can do is you can, uh, if you place down a high end, you can pull the person in to the high end. If you have Dagger, it's just amazing for Bankai specifically, because it's just, it spawns a clone. So if you have wind, it just spawns another fucking tornado on top of them. Uh, with Scythe, specifically in Bankai and in Shikai, they have the little pull. It's basically a mini longsword, that's why I picked it. And in terms of dual blade, specifically in Bankai, it has the little Bushogama, which is perfect for wind, for example, or water. If water uses the whirlpool, you can Bushogama inside of it while using high end on top of that. That's a blender. With wind, you have the tornado move, high end on top of that, and Bushogama in there. Perfect. Synergy, amazing. Mwah. Everything else that I didn't mention, it's probably shit. So, yeah. This fucks up my plan. This is fucking bullshit. Okay? This, these fucking assholes, this fuck, these fucking assholes! The fuck is their problem, man? Alright, so Type Soul updated! Woohoo! You know, yippee, that, that's usually a happy thing. But for me, someone who's been making this fucking video for, like, weeks now, this is not that good because I'm basically spreading misinformation. So what happened is, I had this Kuroitsugi section, right, where I review all the moves. Yeah, well, guess what? I said it's unobtainable. Oh, I'm spreading misinformation now. You can get Kuroitsugi now. Holy fucking shit, you can get it now. I don't have a, I don't have a move guide for that move. I don't fucking know what you're supposed to do with that move. Uh, other parts that got fucking retconned, I guess. So Zurire then no longer works with uh, Blood Art on Blood Bankai. So Blood is just completely out of the fucking, like, out of the ranking list for my Bankais. Instead, I'm gonna add Flower, because there's a whole new Shikai! There's a new fucking Shikai in Bankai, holy shit. Yeah, okay, Flower goes in that list instead. These fucking assholes. So, yeah. This video has been in the making for, like, how many weeks now? Peroxide is literally about to come out, and this whole video is about to be fucking irrelevant, okay? Just, uh, honestly, thank you for fucking watching the video. Like, just, just thank you for making it through, like, what, like, almost 30 minutes of this fucking video? Like, this is probably extremely painful to watch. I was gonna add an entire gameplay section, but I, I just, I need to pump this bitch out. Just release this video already, because it's been too goddamn long. I've been working on this and putting this off for too goddamn long. It's a passion project of mine. Uh, let me know if you want, like, me to make any other videos with my shitty format and my dumbass. So, yeah, that's gonna be good old Fluxoduxo signing the fuck off. I'm gonna go do some clan wars, okay?